Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bircher Reglomat. This is their part number 290308, Prime Tech Advanced Combined Microwave Motion and Active Infrared Sensor. We're going to go over its components that are in the box first, then we'll look at the installation instructions. Speaking of those, they come in, there are four sets of them here in four different languages. We have the English version posted, linked to down below. It's going to come with a full-size template, very typical and common. This, this is a peel-away paper adhesive backer, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay, Full-size template, you apply to the opening and drill your... Uh, holes. You've got mounting holes here and then you have access holes for cable. Three of them for your cable. The, the A, B, and C holes. And then your two screws for your installation. Okay, so let's take a look at the item in the box. Smart, clean little packaging that they have here. First of all, the cable. Um, you know, probably every bit of 12 feet of cable here. You know, six ends, you know, about, let's say, nine inch wide, um, 12 times nine, um, you know, maybe 10 feet of cable, something in that range. Okay, got your connector here going to the sensor and of course your lead back here a couple of screws for mounting those are going to be included and then of course they have a um, way to filter on the sensor as well the sensor face itself with these black plastic inserts a couple of uh, four a total of four self uh, two self drilling screws and then two and then two self-tapping screws, depending on how you like to go, I suppose. Okay, here is the sensor itself. Give you some idea of the dimensions. Overall width, looks like it's about just shy of 10 inch. Overall height, about two and two and three eighths overall height now in terms of a projection let's take a look at the projection about an inch and three quarter maybe one and thirteen sixteen now removing the uh, cover is pretty simple a blunt instrument inserted here and here will get that to you know basically come off in your hands Not going to stress too much about demonstrating that on camera because I don't want to lose the parts. Yeah, that, that definitely comes out without really any trouble. Just a little wiggle on the blunt instrument. And if you've worked with sensors, this will not look that unusual to you at all. Obviously, your uh, quick setup is here. The business end of the sensor is obviously here. Okay. Sensing lenses down below. So the thing to do now is to switch to the screen view so that we can take a look at the uploaded installation instructions so let's do so now okay so this is the item that we're looking at in terms of the installation instructions and they are linked to down below here by the time you're seeing this video they will be there and an overview of the item immediately is, you know, a good thing to do. So one and two is your, your hood, your air, A-I-R, light window would be two. OK. 
time. Okay, as we continue on, the cable bushing that they refer to, uh, and I'll I'll show it to you again on screen, but it's just this little area here where the cable will be held, retained in, and then your connector is here. Your mounting holes are here and over here. Can't see them very well on the opposite side, right in here. Your air LED and your function button, your value function button and your green LED, your air adjustment screw that's going to uh, you know affect a change on the angle. Uh, your radar module, obviously, like I said earlier, the business end, and then your uh, LCD display. Um, you know, when you're installing your sensor, you're going to have to be mindful of um, obstructions, uh, ghosting. You don't want to have any sort of problem of the unit um, being triggered. Um, you know, the classic story is the client calls and said, yeah, well, you installed my sensor last week and it worked perfectly until today. Well, okay, what changed? Well, nothing. You go there and you realize they moved two large, you know, potted plants on either side of the opening and the movement of the wind is causing the sensors to pick that up. So, um, so be mindful of that. Those two covers that I had mentioned earlier, of course, would go over your sensor um, area here, your sensing area. The safety instructions are, of course, important to review. Um, it is certainly not recommended that someone with no experience do this at all. Uh, automatic doors are actually obligated to be inspected annually uh, with records kept, um, it is not mandatory that a ADAM, AAADM certified um, individual conduct those annual inspections, but that is certainly suggested and recommended. Uh, the mounting, of course, is going to be a physical mount with the two screws and the template that you already have. Then it will literally just become a, ma a, a matter of setting the AIR field on your unit and trimming it so that it operates correctly given what they're doing here. So what they're showing you is with these indicated areas, what sort of pattern on the floor you're going to get in front of the unit depending on how you deploy your covers. Okay, so be mindful of that, how you can tailor that. You're literally going to put blinders on the sensor to achieve the kind of degree that you need. Um, a map of the wires, should, uh, because you will, of course, need to know where the wires will go. Okay. Initialization. 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 Um, remove all objects that do not form part of the usual doorway system. Planters potted trees. <laughs> um, so ensure no people are standing in front of the opening. The alternate flashing shows the initial initialization teaching of the detector for 20 or 25 seconds. During startup, the firmware version FXX is displayed on the display. Following initial initialization, the red-green LED only illuminates when a detection has occurred. And the system is now operational at this point. So I mean, literally, we've done nothing except attach the unit, connect the, you know, give it its proper blinders, wire it to where it has to go, and turn it on. And it's probably ready to go. Um, and then any adjustments you're going to need, you're literally going to need to make now on the radar module, which are detailed here. And it's going to be accomplished literally by moving it by, by uh, uh, addressing the exact position at which it is looking towards and, uh, you know, by even turning it 90 degree as they show here. Readout on your display. I won't go over that. You can review that. Uh, probably troubleshooting here. 
no, just more readout. Let's turn that around and take a look. So depending on what you want to affect, these, you know, the rows would be how you go about affecting that change. Now we're at troubleshooting remedy, remedying malfunctions are listed here. And the technical data basically at the very end of the document. So like like most sensors, like I think all sensors, simple and straightforward, a little bit of tailoring that you'll need to do, but generally only if you have an unusual um, application, you're, you're most likely going to certainly have to put a cover somewhere. Um, you may not need the entire area um, to have coverage, but you might is the bottom line. Okay, let's switch back to the camera view and wrap up this video. Okay, in conclusion, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page um, where you can get to the manufacturer's website and also on that page view any and all products that we have for sale from this manufacturer. That's your cable area. You'll slide the cable down in here. Your mounting point here, your other mounting point here. You know, again, simple and straightforward. This will this will stay. Don't. There's no reason to remove this. You'll want that on there when you if you need to pull the cover off to be able to get inside of here to affect your modifications. Literally, the sensor is on a swivel base because it's so black, it's not going to be real easy to see. You can kind of see it underneath there. And at the tip of my finger here, you get the idea of how it will rotate. You'll be able to affect change on how that sensor is going to move. Um, you know, they're durable. This whole back plane is plastic. You know, um, I just wouldn't drop it. Um, but outside of that, uh, they're robust items. Um, you will, of course, e expect to have... Um, you know, intermittent operation if you have this on an exterior wall. Think of a that major national chain that sells electronics. They've got their slider, two pair of biparting sliding doors. Those sensors are put right on the header. Most often I don't see rain guards over them, so you're going to definitely want to investigate in a rain guard um, to be sure uh, at a minimum. Okay, Pull away clear cover on the air windows at the bottom. If you have any questions on the virtual reglamet, this is their part number 290308. Uh, advanced combined microwave motion and active infrared sensor or any other virtual reglamet product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.